Hello. Welcome. This is Kenshin1913. And we're starting a brand new Let's Play. Another tactical RPG. Yeah, that's right. This is Let's Play Arc the Lad Twilight of the Spirits, or Arc the Lad 4, as I like to call it. And yeah, welcome back to the world of Arc the Lad. Many, 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 many years after Arc the Lab 3. So you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, will any of the characters from the Arc the Lab series be in this game? Yes! So yeah, there's the options. Let's do a new game! I should have let the music play, I apologize. That is a terrific opening. But yeah, this game doesn't look half bad on the emulator. It actually looks very nice. So we start off with a girl playing some weird harp and flying airships. Yeah, so the music in this game is really good. The gameplay is pretty good. And, uh... Yeah, the characters and all that is pretty good. This is probably like the third time I've ever played this game. I've been it twice. But it's been a long time. Welcome to the town of Ubel. By the way. All right. Ready? Let's go, Lloyd. Karg, you can do it. All right. Let's begin. You're showing a lot of improvement. Hang on. We're not finished yet. How's that? Uh, well done. Look at that, huh? That guy <clears throat> beat that other guy. So yeah, in this game we're going to be playing as two main pick characters. In the first one, his name is Karg. And this is one of my favorite songs in the game, this music. And yeah, Paulette is the girl who's watching. And Lloyd is... And Lloyd is uh, apparently her father. So apparently Karg is, uh... Apparently Karg's eventually gonna take over the defense force. Why? Why, what is, what is he, a prince?
Oh, so the royal family of Nidelia. Yeah, I'm not sure where that is on the mapper. Much about it, the world has changed. Alec, the world of Alec and, uh, and, hit, and, hit, and uh, all those guys is pretty much over. Lloyd's got a pretty cool sword there. Let's go and find out. So now we're in control of Karg. And he can run pretty fast. Anyways, if we, if we hit the triangle button, we can go into the uh, party men menu. And we can come look at Karg's skills. And we can come look at Paulette's skills. <clears throat> we can look at the items that we have. And the items that we have as a uh, as a group, accessory items and all that. We can equip now in this game. <clears throat> we keep the same weapon. We only have one weapon, but we can actually put various parts on our weapon to give it uh, to give it more uh, stats and stuff, different uh, elements. And the same thing with our uh, with our wet our armor. We sort of keep the same thing, but we can add uh, extra things to it. So keep that in mind when we're working on stuff. Uh, and then our stats, you can just pretty much... Pretty much standard role-playing. You have his HP. You can ha He has two out of eight items that he can have. There's his HP, next level. His class is one star right now. And once we get 150 SP, we'll get another one. You guys, attack speed, all that good stuff down there, and elemental stuff as well. Then you have Paulette as well here. So there you go, that's pretty much it. We can come down to party items and look at all the items we have. We can look at the options where we can do all that stuff, but I'm not going to bother farting around with it. So, we come over here. This guy Banjo here. Ooh, a suspicious old man. So yeah, I was kind of leery about playing this game, but because I mean it does have something to do with Art Aladdin, you know, everything like that, but you know, we don't have the same great characters. I mean we will be getting a few characters from Art Aladdin hear about, or the other games, and even hear about what happened to some of the other characters, but pretty much this is a whole new set of, of uh, heroes. So apparently we're going to go check on, uh, we're going to go check on this weird old man. And he's going to give us 200 gold. And Paulette's going to come with. How nice. Just Karg is flying. Well, that's pretty cool. I call you Lord Karg. So apparently Lord Karg is a prince of, uh, or a son of some old royal family. Yeah, and some of their hand gestures are kind of funny. Like Karg's, he just keeps doing that. Yeah, so Lady ne Nefa is, is Karg's mom. So we can either go talk to her or start exploring town. Which I'm probably gonna do. Oh, just 
keep cleaning it up. Yeah, so it's a good idea to talk to people and talk to them multiple times. Yeah, I'm preparing. Alright, yeah, we don't want to run into monsters right away. So yeah, you're probably thinking with tactical RPG, holy moly, you're doing another one. And the answer is yeah. Anyways, uh... We can purchase a whole bunch of stuff. Healing herb, good herb, revival medicine, antitoxic nut, mint, uh, soap, painful needle, green memory grass, nerve stimulant, energy sick, all this stuff. Basically... I'll, I'll eventually buy something, but... And you can hear you can buy spirit stones. I'm not sure what they're used for. Eventually I'll figure it out. I'm not buying anything right away. So yeah, weapon parts and the weapon parts system... Basically, the thing about it is you only... You have, like I said, you only have one weapon. And basically, you equip parts to it, and you can uh, uh, make your weapon stronger and all that. It's kind of neat. Attaching weapon parts to your weapon can reduce results. Yeah. So yeah, you can give them elemental stuff. You can give them all kinds of stuff. So let's check out weapon parts. We can buy... Stone coating, which will boost our attack power. You know, but it'll, it'll, we'll lose one speed. The amethyst, thorn of revenge, this will raise our critical pretty good. I kind of like that, but our avoidance will go down. So certain things will have uh, various effects, and certain uh, items. Certain items, uh, the thing about them is, uh, what is it? Eventually we're going to get, like, uh, character-specific parts as well. So there's, remember where Banjo is. Yeah, before we go and talk with Karg's mommy, let's go, uh, explore town a little bit. sucks. Alright, I guess I'll go see her. Watch out. Oh, come on. Get out of my goddamn way. Look, here's a kitty. Meow. Meow. Hello, old lady. Yeah, Lady Nafia. She. Uh, wow, so Karg's only 17. Yeah, let's ask about her. Basically, she was, I guess, a warrior back in her day. Yeah, Nidella was invaded by another country. They killed the king and burned the castle of the crown. So I guess the king was, uh. I guess the king was, uh, Karg's daddy -o. No, everyone was equal. Oh, how nice. That's nice. So yeah, there we go. So apparently Karg's mom was quite a warrior back in the day. It's good to know. We already went in there. Mm, well, I don't know if that's a good idea, marrying. Marrying. Yeah, I'm only talking to these characters once, maybe twice.
wait till I grow up. Keep this wild monkey monster in mind. Alright, we'll keep that wild monkey monster. Who that was Lord Duncan, anyways. And this is Hella. I don't know who she is. Oh, she'll heal us up, the whole group, for ten gold. No thanks, not right now. Yeah, but doesn't this music sound so... Can I talk to you or what? Doesn't this music sound so nice and peaceful? that you guys have a defense core in the uh in the uh in the bar area a wild monkey monster no oh, okay well apparently we can't go deal with the wild monkey monster Now you might never fight by my side. I might, I might start on a grand adventure. And here is the classic Arc the Lad uh, save point. We're gonna save our game. And there we go. Let's go in the in door. Someone's gonna ask us about something. This guy apparently lost something. What an idiot. Anyways, this game's tactical RPG system is a little different than um, most others. As we'll see in the next episode. What's going on outside of town? Yeah, I don't know anything about these places. And this is Butch. And yeah, we'll go talk to Banjo. So, th th we're just running an errand or two. Yeah, I heard she's pretty cool. Yeah, I heard she was a great fighter. The lady warrior from Nidelia. I wonder if she has anything to do with, uh... I wonder if she has anything to do with maybe Sonya? Probably not. And yeah, there apparently there's a world peace organization that, uh... I don't know, they keep world peace. Probably not very much, though. Uh, did you, what did the thief take? Oh, he took some food. Oh, must have been the, uh, must have been the, uh, did you see the thief? Yeah, I've heard about this green face monster guy. Yeah, 
you know what? We'll have to deal with that after we deal with the weird old man. Anyways, I want to just finish up over here. Maybe I'll go talk to Duncan again. But let's go talk to Banjo. Sorry to put you through this, Lord Kark. You can stop calling me Lord. And look at that, we get a knuckle guard, which is an item for Karg. Uh, we can put that on his, uh, on his thing here, and it increases his guard and his, or his defense and his critical rate, so that's pretty nice. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video here in the next episode. We'll go see uh, Karg's mommy, and then we will head off to, uh... Uh, what was it called? Scrapey Plateau or whatever, and get into our first battle. So, this has been Kenshin1913. I will see you later. Bye bye.